So, what we got here? Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Eden on attack, obviously. We got Rose on defense. From the Sun City. A lot of hero killing potential actually on the hero lineup of Eden. And a little more, a little bit more control for Rose here. Picking up four muskets to make sure that they use the high ground well. Actually, both teams only playing uh, two and three pole axes. I think this class is very strong at the moment. Then it's shown here. But yeah, let's find out. Double flame is for Eden as well. Chenji being picked up. Flamey Shinji also for the defenders. It looks like it's only one uh, Flamey for the defenders, so... Did I just see correctly that no coconuts are being picked up? Oh god. I need to adjust the score on my bed. Definitely not scripted kick. Yo, Sun City. I'm oh, gonna come out the small castle here. Yeah, I'm gonna be a little artillery better at the start. Not much though. Oh, and we see a Sally out. Army girl is on the go. Rose coming, man. We're on the on the horizon. Let's see how Eden is gonna react though. We see a lot of bikes been uh, picked up already. Looking at the you know, look at these spike setups here. They're gonna guard one tower and the supply, it looks like. Rose is gonna go all the way by the looks of it, or are they just gonna retreat? So Eden is prepared for it, for the Sally out. Um, good job. So many thought of uh, Rose would have more outriders that could so punish this man. These slow infantry setups, they would all burn away. Yeah, but they don't want to push against the Forder. Also, Rose super slow on the approach here. Oh, Amigo's getting picked up at the gate. Imperial Pike's actually also saving the advance. Super well played by the guys at the gate here. And Rose being forced to retreat. They're gonna be super slow on A. A most likely gonna go for E. Gonna go super free for Eden. Because Rose cannot be in position. Look at how many players are still on the way to the supply. If you look at the minimap, there's no way they're gonna make it in time. But also, so many fought on the wall. I don't know about that, man. And I do see some coconuts here from Rose. So they actually got a shot here. If they do get a proper frontline set up, then they can just uh, win against the Forder by flaming all of it. But Eden just pushing so hard onto the back of the house here. Trapping the front, pushing the back. This is all planned as it looks like. Real Pike advance in the front here. And Rose just getting wiped. Um, I don't know why they do take this fight. It's like 15 players of Eden and Rose is just having half the team here, half the team is not here, half of the team that's not here is late, uh, there's no way you're gonna get it. So yeah, really nice start for in. Actually, I thought I would immediately go for the supply, but um, looks like they're gonna go for B or go for full reset here. Yeah, so Rose wanted to cheese a bit with the Sally out. Eden well prepared. Rose too late on A. Uh, free A goes here for Eden. That's pretty nutty. Pretty nice. Eden's probably really happy with this uh, outcome of the A push.
Yeah, BC also not contested here. So question is, is Rose going to defend the supply? Mm, pick up here for Eden. Uh, for Rose, Eden player going down. And the Forte Bracha also going to get picked off here. That's uh, really, really nice. Rose having a little comeback here. Being a free forter after losing three Amigers. And the pike I just got out, man. Also running the room with um, the ability to heal on the go. Or we kind of saved him there too. Yeah, oh. Rose is just hiding here. <laughs> Between those small houses, uh, trying to bait Eden onto the supply, most likely to collapse afterwards. Rest of Eden is also kind of chilling in front of the gate. So yeah, Eden um, at the moment looks like they're setting up. Also waiting for the ram here. <laughs> Make sure this gate can never be closed again. <laughs> Boom, okay. That's a safe way of doing things. Definitely. What did it cost them like one to two minutes already? The French guy has no delay, oh god. Well, that's uh, out of my hands though. I'm not a tournament uh, staff guy, I just jumped into cast tonight. Eden super, super cautious here. Look at how they like try to scout where Rose is because they, they know something is up, but they can't really know what the fuck's happening actually. I think we are ready to go through the gate. Also got some flames here, man. Rose super super patient here and even super cautious and it's gonna gonna bang in a second. Also even picking up some Asian shields here. Some really really big Imperial Spear Guards. They also got buff lately in the last patch, got the additional HP, it's gonna help a lot. And uh, looks like they're just getting onto the supply for free here. Water just uh, an FK on the side, and now they gotta get the supply for free. I don't know uh, what Rose is thinking with this. Uh, I don't know what to call it, maybe trap, but like, they're not really defending the supply. It's gonna get capped in a second here, and oof, man, calf right into the Porta Braccio, man, this hurts. This hurts, the flame is burning everything, and Eden just uh, gonna finish capping the supply now. Army goes from behind, gonna get stopped by heroes and the palace guards there. Oh god. This looks like C is gonna insta drop because Rose just lost too many players. Looking also at the casualties, Rose just uh, getting obliterated here. Um, I don't know, it was kind of trap set up, but. Did not work. Fake trap detected, man. And here we go directly onto C. Eden got fresh units, they've just been on the supply, they can immediately push forward. C is definitely free. The question is, are they fast enough for the endpoint? Uh, I don't think so. I think Eden has to um, set up after the killing C. But they're gonna have a lot of time on their hands. Gonna have a lot of time on their hands. So they probably played cautious again. Very good job by Eden so far in this match. I'm um, reading the enemy like a book so far. And yeah, for Rose it just uh, doesn't work out at the moment. Uh, Rose needs to find uh, some way of getting back into this game because they're like super far behind. They're like 200 plus units down already. Good units down. So they need to be 
uh, risking something here at some point. They need to go for a risky play otherwise. Uh, if they just play standard, they're just going to lose in the long run. Eden knows that. So they're going to play super carefully. Super cautious. And yeah, I'm just grouping up. Checking all the spots. Oh, they don't know that Origin is on the other side. Oh, they do see some guys though. Okay, getting the Shenjis on the wall and they're probably gonna try to bump, but it seems too far away. Some Jeff's gonna hit. Even actually having a couple Jeffs out here. Maybe that's the time for Origin to strike though. They do have some calves available still and there's a lot of units that are vulnerable to, to calf out here. So it's just the palace guards that are going to hold for a couple seconds. And almost no pikes. Except for a few. For example this 40 here. They're spraying out so much that Origin could actually collapse right now inside of the castle because these guys cannot fill up. Getting a small win inside of the castle would be nice. Getting some some Shangis there. But yeah, it looks like Origin is not going to look for it. Um, questionable Imperial Pike advance. But it looks like it gets sacrificed so the Shangis actually get a super good hit here. Also some Sakai Militia on Eden side. Having a nice hit, and now the flank is actually coming through. Orange and Omega is just not enough. Uh, there needs to be a bigger flank to actually kill off Eden here. And most likely we're going to see. The question is, is it going to be early enough or is it not going to be early enough? Yeah, Eden just winning the front line and back line actually getting hold here. Two Eden players just uh, saving the back line. Zenga it was. <laughs> and yeah, like. As I said, Eden is just reading Origin like a book today on this first game here. And this game is so over. Five units. Uh, five heroes alive from, from Origin. Might call them units today. What am I saying? Origin, it's Rose. Yeah, it's pretty rough. Um, I'm on Corona. My, my brain is not like that functional, but. Yeah, Rose with a nice army to charge here, but it's not gonna help anymore. What's well, good charge though? Um, Keswick's charge also kinda okay ish. Another army got charged to see the deal. Looks like Eden overextended a bit and got punished. I thought they would just close way quicker. Maybe they just turned their brain over and were like, yeah, this game is over. Now it's different because... Um, 260 units left for Rose. And they're going to do the only right thing. They're immediately going to push Eden before they can respawn. Really, really good call on Rose's side here. Even they played this game... Not very well, I would say. From my perspective, or getting the flames here would also be super huge. They have the hero adventure, the flame is gonna drop. I don't even know why Eden's taking on those fights. They're gonna use the cannon militia, they're gonna lose flame, he's gonna lose the, the forder. Ashix might be turning the fight though. Yeah, Akashix just uh, saving the fight, but the losses were insane. They lost so much on it. Actually, the trade in general, uh, the last one went in favor of uh, Rose. They just don't have anything left to uh, to do much after. One Kashik though, I see. Still alive. Oh, getting traded here. Kashik versus Kashik. And Eden Kashik looking like it's winning. Yeah, I think they're done. Saving the endpoint now. Finishing the game was actually closer than to be expected, to be honest. 30 units left for our, for Rose here. The 
Yeah, not that much to say in this game. I like that Rose really tried in the end and, and um, was playing well um, when it got to the end point. But before, they were just seemed kind of off on uh, on their planning. I think the Sally out was uh, really, really one-dimensional, just running Amigas, no other units. So as soon as Eden is going to go full pike mode, Amigas not going to do anything. They have to go back. Going to lose A definitely because... Uh, Players just don't get onto A fast enough. Actually, I was a way to get to A faster, but they didn't use it. They walked all the way around. And then the trap on the supplier was just uh, not working out for them. They did let Eden onto the supply. And then we're just... Uh, giving up the the better position there in my opinion giving in a free free area that's super super good to uh, defend was probably not the best choice don the lords here with a 6 one twenty four mvp go stacks eight kills five for h by t seven for curse fly though Nice one with a mode here for follows. And she's also four kills on the board. Yeah, not too bad, not too bad. Yeah, it was just like three big fights, right? By the way, here, at this point, um, this is exactly where I said uh, Rose had a good trade. At the end of the battle, but then they just didn't have enough anymore. They kind of traded fine on the uh, endpoint fight as well, considering they're already super down. They just didn't get their flanks in. Uh, Eden was doing a really, really great job defending the flanks here. So Origin uh, Rose could not um, get their flank attacks through. This was just the first bet on A. Where Rose was just sitting there knowing that they can't, uh, can't make it most likely. So they would have had to go to back to supply immediately and then the setup on the supply was just... Um, not working out for them, giving Eden the better position for free and then fighting them when Eden is in the better position <laughs> um, that you actually want to defend was uh, not, the, not the recipe for this game. Well, let's see how the next...